before they before they start the pipes. So. Here's the sergeant now. This is a few minutes in there. And to read an article. This is just down the street. Typical one. Picture. Picture the marches. Marching. Yeah, and pictures. Coming out in the street. I brought Timmy along. Timmy. Timmy's a very fine person who loves music. I do. And this is a, something that he, this is his favorite. And the, again, this is the uh, Royal Regiment of the Irish Dance. Timmy will do a, an Irish dance for Notice the paralysis in the arms. And just the, and just the, and just the legs move. <laughs> Very funny. Well, while that's playing, while that's playing, can we just sit here? Uh, I want to read you an article. It reminded me of a friend of mine. There in Fort Myers in Cape Coral, Florida. Fort Myers area, Cape Coral, Florida. Where my brother James lives. I used to work for a company that was headquarters down there in Cape Coral. I, I lived down there as well for a while. There's somebody I work with that was quite an inspiration. He was an inspiration to us all. He was a a friend. I'm gonna I'm just gonna use his first name. His name is Yanni. Yanni. And he, he was uh, quite the bodybuilder. And at, at that time I was 50 and I was quite out of shape. And I, I said, Yanni, I can't, I can't even eat right rather than work out. And I said, how did you even get started? And you know what Yanni told me? He said, you know, I, I used to be a fat kid. And I got tired of being a fat kid. And he said he wanted a girlfriend and everything. He couldn't do nothing because he had this body image of himself. Not knocking anyone who's overweight. You know, it's all your own personal preference, but your health is very important. And he was concerned about that too. So he got himself a job at a Home Depot, loading up people's cars from the lawn and garden section. That summer got him fit. So he thought, I want to take it one step further. I'm going to go and work out at a gym. He learned about nutrition. He made it a lifestyle, not a not a challenge, it's a lifestyle. It's like when you like to eat bad food, well, you can eat good food and, and make that your lifestyle too. Well, he did that with food and exercise and nutrition. They always say you gotta do what you love. He does what he loves. That's the other inspiration about Yanni. You gotta admire him. Since I got on Facebook, I, I noticed he'll put his posts up. He has a store in Cape Carl, a nutritional, based store where you have supplements and what have you there. Isn't it nice that you're not going to a big box store with impersonable in person, pe people who work there know very little about their product let alone can be an inspiration at the same time. Nini, Yanni, and I don't know his, his wife. A very, she's a model. Very beautiful woman and I'm sure Inside as well, she's just wonderful because you know Yanni, he don't settle for nothing. In this case, he, he was he was blessed that this woman saw Yanni for who he was, an outstanding human being. He he loves people. He really does and he wants to help. But more importantly, he practices what he preaches. Now, he was posting about this shutting down of the central, you know, making things essential business or not, but he feels that he feels that his business, as well as going to a gym, what was that? Timmy. Oh yeah, Timmy wanted me to say, going to a gym is essential as well. Isn't that part of your overall health? Have to keep proper distancing. Thank you, thank you, Timmy. Proper distancing and clean hands. Oh, can clean hands. You won't have a problem. This is what happened up up here. I'm I'm living up here in. in 
when I'm when I'm not in 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 this when I'm not in this country. See, I live in three different well, two different places. I primarily stay <laughs> in Ireland. It's, it's not that expensive in Southern Ireland, but I'm I'm just saying. When I'm in the States, I live up here at, at my, my house here in Pennsylvania. You just you see my kids every once in a while. You have to once in a while. You know. And hey, Rita, I, I, I got the paper here. You know, police are arresting people for opening their businesses prematurely, so to speak, defying the orders, like the old revolutionary people, you know. I'm, I'm, we're going to stop this nonsense now. So what they did was, this is what it was, state police site Jim. That offered, that that defied the orders. This gym opened up. The uh, they have a picture of uh, Ed Frack is the guy who owns the gym, owner of the Super Sets in Hanover Township, which is north of Allentown, you know, north of Quaker Town here. No, I should say not the Mixon, because this is the not the Mixon blog. <laughs> I try my best. I'm, I'm <laughs> hey, look, I'm I'm an old man, <laughs> but I'm fit. Thank you, Yanni. Old but fit. I'm in better shape than I was before. I never thought that'd be possible. I'm not even doing a quarter of what Johnny recommended. But if you're if you're living in Cape Coral around the area, go go check out his store. Because you're always saying, well, why should I go to this store? There's other there's other stores. Service you get for free. You need good advice, especially from yeah, this man. This, this man could be Mr. Universe as far as I'm concerned. He'll laugh at me if I say that, but. Maybe Mr. Florida. I don't know. But at any rate, you know, and his wife it also looks like she lifts too. In very good shape. Between the two of them, they're a powerhouse of fitness and education. Now, uh, in this township area in Lehigh County, uh, he is talking to the state trooper. After opening his business Sunday to, in protest, the statewide business shut down because of the, current, the, the, the coronavirus, which it's understandable, but really, I mean, in any rate, the owner of the Lehigh County Gym, who opened Sunday in defiance of the shutdown of non-life-sustaining businesses. Life-sustaining? What's worth living if you can't do what you used to do? And, don't you, and after you have a workout routine and you're used to the equipment and everything, it's the camaraderie and the encouragement from the other people at the gym, which I'm sure Yanni at the gym is all over the place. I'm sure he's even helping people even... Not hurt their back. Yeah, you're, you know, they'll go, you know, you're doing that wrong. You're doing it all wrong. He talks like he's from California. What a wonderful, it, it, it's a really funny, really, really nice guy. And anyway, it's an example. It's right here in the paper, too. You know, it's the top. You see, the owner of the gym, he, he's keeping social distance. He has the mask on. What difference does it make? And you know, quite frankly, if you, even before this coronavirus, a reputable gym. Don't they wipe everything down and encourage everyone to, you know, wipe off the equipment when they're done anyway and, and practice good hygiene anyway? Physical fitness has a lot to do with more than just lifting weights. You know, you're, 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 you're generally, you know, trying to keep yourself in better overall condition. But healthy mind, healthy body. Go talk to Yanni and his wife. I'd say his wife's name, but I, I can't remember. They don't have a pill for... Stupidity. But I'm not stupid because I know where to find the answer when I do. I just get on that website and uh, and, uh, and talk to him. See, I, I, put, I, I, put, I put that website down here and everything, but I didn't talk to him first. I didn't have any permission first. The next time I fly down to Florida to visit my brother James and his wife Debbie, I'm going to go into that store and I'm going to be so happy to say, you're looking alive and well. You know, no, no virus got you. It can't. It can't, not when you're smart. Uh, but uh, I don't know. At any rate, I, I see the band stops, and now we have some peace and quiet. Uh, evidently, they're they're catching their breath, you know. It's like I said, don't they know there are other verses? All you hear is the same. Blah, 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 blah. So, you know, Timmy, did you want to? Did you want to add anything to this to this post? I, I basically wanted, because I'm seeing, you know, my, my friend Yanni's ads about his business there in Cape Girl uh, all the time, and I, I just want to live in it. I, I, I see it. And and you know what? I, I work with some really nice people, really great people in, uh, there, there in Florida. But I got to tell you, Yanni was really one of the 
is one of the most outstanding uh, salesmen I've ever I've ever met as well. He's just that kind of guy. You just have to like him. You, you just have to, you know. I mean, if I was, you know, I am running for president. Yes, I am. I'm running for president, and and uh, uh, I'm running on the Democratic ticket. See, I'm counting on Biden kicking the bucket before the election. I'm right in there, and, and my vice president, my vice president. You know who I pick? I pick Yanni. Oh yeah. <laughs> because he's got brains and he's got the energy and all I got to do is sit in the White House and go, go, nothing to see here, nothing to see here, right, Yanni? And Yanni will go, no, there is something to see here. You see, I'm the vice president, he's the president. What, what's wrong with you voters, right? But you see, Yanni would never, I don't think he's a Democrat, you know. I haven't, I, you know, even my twin brother is a Republican. Yeah, yeah, he... And I, I'm a Republican too. Anyone who believes everything they hear is a Republican. Well, yeah, that, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's why they did so good in school. They didn't question anything. See, I was lucky. I, I was always sent home every every before the first month of school every year. Right, right. You know, just like Timmy here. Yeah, it happened to me too. Yeah, I'd go to school maybe in a couple of weeks. They'd send me home with a letter to my parents saying, don't send your son back to school. We're tired of trying. That's how that's how bad I was. That's not fair. You know, but these days uh, they, they don't even do that. But uh, I just wanted to do a shout out to my friend Yanni. I can't again. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very hesitant about saying names and all oh, too much stuff. But until I, I would, you know, maybe maybe have some kind of contact, though. But I'm due for a visit to Florida. I should have gone down during the winter, but I, I was, <laughs> I, I, I had the most horrible winter in Glasgow. I was up north, northern there in Scotland, and it was, it's just cold. I mean, it, it, it's a different kind of cold. It gets you to the bone, you know. And, and, and that's why they talk the way they do. Because they're freezing. You know, whenever, when you're, really cold outside and you're trying to talk and your teeth are chattering and your, 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 your tongue is tight and your whole body is going that's why they talk that way and if they wasn't so nasty they'd probably talk like this how y'all doing sure enough it's a nice place to visit but you wouldn't want to live there I'd like to live in where I'd love to anywhere near Cape Coral Florida I'm planning on retiring now, Yanni would know this place as well as my brother James or anyone else near the area. Pine Island. Oh, another friend of mine, another mensch of a person, Gary. I'm not going to say his last name, but I work with Gary, too. Now, now I, if I'm not mistaken, Gary has a house there he used to. Now, I think he got married, moved off to Alabama. He had a beautiful girl. He married her. No, I should say a woman. Beautiful woman. So I hope he's doing well as well. I think he, he has a, a pizza hut or something in, in Alabama. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. But he, I, he he could be another one who could be a good politician. I'll tell you. You know, uh, uh, he's a, he even looks like an Irishman, too. I'll tell you. Right, I'm going to sign off now. I want to let you know that uh, everything is fine here in Pennsylvania, at least around where I am. There's not too much of this infection going on. More and more things are opening up, but not gyms and things like that. I've been working all through this, mostly in defiance. I do have, um, I do have a medical license. I am, a, I am. A, you know what believes me on that one, right, Timmy? <laughs> right, Timmy. Now, Timmy will tell you about my medical uh, abilities. Uh, now, Timmy, t tell him one thing that should shock everyone. I'm a real person. I am a biological product of years of research and development of fertility and human fertility. Yes, indeed. This is Prince's. You know the singer Prince? This is his son. Prince don't know it. He threw up one afternoon. My laboratory collected the throw up, got the DNA from it, mixed it with uh, sulfuric acid and the right amount of plastic and made Timmy. Yeah, that's why I can sing so good. And, 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 and that's why he does this when he gets shy. He'll put his hand up to his mouth. Just like Prince. Isn't that funny? All right, I'm going to go now. Hang in there. Stay safe.